Hello and welcome to this kind of mini episode of the Fossil Arcade. I just wanted to do a little update to a game I reviewed in a previous series, which was WarioWare Twisted, which was the motion-controlled WarioWare game for Game Boy Advance. Interestingly, one thing I kind of forgot to talk about in my review was the fact that it has rumble. So when you move the game, it rumbles, and it's a really nice feature, and it's the reason this big kind of bulgy thing exists. And through using the game, because it is so much fun, it just stopped working. So, the rumble, does it act like normal rumble if you get hit? So as you're moving, it might give you a little right, feeling, okay. like to show like clockwork kind of feeling, like ticking, ticking kind of thing. Or, yeah, like if, if you get hit by a car or something, it will, it will rumble, just like any rumble. Um, but as I say, it just kind of stopped working, and I don't know why, but I took it apart. It uses, you know, like any Nintendo product, it uses the tri-wing screw. So you need a tri-wing screwdriver if you want to take it apart. Um, but I found that there was basically no video online to show me how to repair the rumble. And this isn't a how-to as such, but I just want to recount kind of the process. I took a gamble on a m motor online which just looked similar. I'll put the name on screen here, so if you're looking for a rumble motor for your copy of Wario I just twisted, you can just go ahead and, and order Do you one. think it would work on other... It well. should work on any Game Boy Advance game that has a rumble because there's Drill Dozer and Wary Wear Twisted, which rumble. It has a little rubber casing around it to keep it secure. You don't need to glue it in or anything. And all you need to do is just desolder it, the one that's broken, and solder on one that works. I'll give you a little go here, you can play it whilst we're chatting. And you know, it's fairly simple. Obviously, you want to be careful. If you're not familiar with soldering or if you're a younger game collector, make sure you have somebody supervise you do this who's, who's experienced and older and knows how to use a soldering iron because they get extremely hot and it is dangerous. Yeah. You don't want to melt parts of the plastic in here or release any toxic fumes and it is extremely fiddly to fit this thing. Um, but I did, did okay, I managed to get the, the wires matched up and you know, it, it, all, it all came back to working and I was very, very happy. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. It's quite, it is, it is quite good. You turn it like a steering wheel, it's kind of... The thing that I found actually is that the motor I put in there is in fact a little bit stronger than the one that was in there okay. before. So the motor is like, kind of, it's more rumbly than it was before. As long as you've got a steady hand, this is something that you can repair very easily. I think if you pick up one of these games as well that doesn't have, the, you know, the motor isn't working, it's mm. definitely worth putting in because it... Yeah, it may be cheaper. It adds, it, well, it, it adds quite a lot to, oh, yeah, yeah. to well, the experience. I, think I, I, could, I could have been happy to just leave it and say, the rumble isn't working anymore. Too bad, but I, I didn't really want to just leave it because it is such a nice extra feature. And obviously, and then there's the other thing that you may be able to go online or at a, a trade market and find a, a cartridge which has a busted rumble, pay less for it, and then repair it for a relatively cheap cost. Are you enjoying yourself there? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Getting absorbed in this game. <laughs> 